you use human feces. Now, many people are not comfortable with using human feces to cook. How come you're using that? Now, it is not the human feces that cook. <laughs> it is the product of the human feces that give out the methane gas, which we use in cooking. Well, uh, yes, it is a gas that comes out. And uh, that people generally know that human gas doesn't smell very good. So isn't it creating a bad odor at the school? Oh, no. How come? Methane gas has, doesn't produce uh, a bad odor at the school. Because during the process which, to which, which it undergoes, the material in the digester is digested and it's only that gas which is produced and tapped in the gas chamber, which is then later run through the pipe system to the kitchen. Do you have a question for Waiswa? Let's go to Yapi. Yapi, what's your question? Yeah, thank you very much. I'm Yapi. I've seen people mixing it with water, and I'm wondering how much quantity of water you're supposed to use for mixing it. And in case you put in a lot of water, does it affect the production of the gas? Thank you. Yeah. All right, go for it. The amount of water we use depends on the capacity of the digester. Our digester has a capacity of 36,000 liters. 36,000 liters. liters. And how often do you refill it? Uh, we are doing it on a daily basis. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Because every day, students have go in these latrines. Yeah? And then we get some cow dung from the farm. We get food waste, which is left over by the students. And we mix all this to add to the digester. Okay, but back to her question. How much water do you use to mix, especially the cow dung? Uh, for about two wheelbarrows, we need about 10 jerry cans of water. For two wheelbarrows, mm. you need? 10 jerry cans of water. 10 jerry cans of water.